tumor size is about three and a half by two and a half centimeters and that was the tumor we originally planned to treat and when we scroll down we can see there's another tumor at the uh, posterior lower pole of the same kidney the tumor's diameter is about 15 millimeters it's a very small tumor if, it was, if this tumor was the only tumor in this kidney we might not have treated it at all and chose active surveillance but because this is an additional tumor in a kidney we're already treating we cannot leave this tumor untreated because we're treating two lesions in the same kidney we will and we have the privilege of having two uh, ice cure machines we will use two cryo probes with their matching uh, introducer needles and because we want to do a biopsy of each of the tumors we will use a few uh, true cut biopsy guns we can see that the upper tumor is located here in the posterior medial part of the interpolar region of the left kidney it is about five and a half centimeters deep from the skin and the entire depth of the needle that we will have to enter will be about eight and a half centimeters. This is, this is the plan for the upper, uh, our approach to the upper uh, uh, tumor. This is our radio opaque marker, marker and this is the trajectory of the needle. We made some measurements to see the depth in which, to which we will have to insert the needle. We scroll down to the lower tumor which is here, that's it, very small one, also quite accessible. I think we'll go from the radiopaque marker itself. The depth of the tumor is about six, about seven centimeters, and the total depth of the needle that we'll have to insert is about eight centimeters. The introducer needles are basically a coaxial system for the cryoprobe uh, device. They fit exactly in length with the cryoprobe and uh, I will use these in these coaxial system to take the biopsy to aid me in taking the biopsies and then inserting the cryoprobes themselves. The depth is about five centimeters. There are depth markers on the on the needle itself. So this is roughly the first. Oh. So now I've inserted the both introducer needles and now we'll do a scan to see the exact position of these needles. We are ready to start the, the freezing. I will insert the needle, the cryoprobe first into the lower pole lesion. It's important while, while removing the inner stylet of the, the coaxial needle to stabilize the needle itself so it will not move with the motions of the the stylet. Again, if there's no blood, I will fill it with a bit of saline just to prevent air bubbles between the cryoprobe and the introducer needle, which will uh, interfere with heat transfer. And again, I stabilize the introducer needle, insert the cryoprobe all the way in, and start the freezing cycle, Vaksha. And I hold it in place for about one minute for it to, to do the initial freeze and stick in place. It's very important not to bend the, the needle or the introducer needle during extraction to prevent cracking. The only motions I do is try, I try to twist, which will release, and pull straight out. I, I, I avoid bending it in either direction. There's no blood coming out of the needle, and we're fine. I'm ready to extract the needle. I push the extraction button and now the machine will, will switch to active heating in order to enable me to remove the needle as fast as possible from the ice ball. And I will inject a bit of gel foam through the introducer needle. That's it. This is the final scan after extracting the the needle, we see still the ice ball. The fat is thawed and the ice ball is remain, the tumor remains frozen. There's a bit of air from the gel foam I injected in the collecting system. And along the tract, we're fine with that, we're not worried about it.
procedure went as expected without any any unusual complications. Uh, mild uh, peritumoral hematoma in the lower pole lesion is something that expect is expected after biopsy of uh, kidney tumors, which we know tend to be very vascular. And we're happy with the procedure.